Back again with Mass Effect 3. Let's play with me, One Exploits, and you, whoever you may be. Um, left off here in the embassy, or near the embassy. We're actually in the hospital part. We were checking on Angela. Was it Angela? Or what, what is her name? Uh, journal. So priority of the Citadel is what we're on now. We've already checked on. What was her name? Was it Angela? I'm gonna say Angela, but I did, I, I'm pretty sure it's not Angela. So this is the shop. We've actually, actually got a shop here. And I'm gonna do something here that I actually forgot to do, and it's damn important. Should have had subtitles on, which I forgot about. Force voice chat audio. Yes, that's my microphone Yeti stereo microphone. Dynamic range, high quality sounds. Okay, for some reason, uh, narrative, that's where it would be. I'm looking for subtitles. Subtitles on, please. So I can actually read what is uh, being said in case I mishear something. And the volume, what's the volume at at the minute? I think it's, it's all at 100%, wow. Okay, I hope this microphone isn't too loud. I turned it down 20%, so hopefully it's not too low at this point. I might actually turn the gain up here. I don't like it when you can actually hear me breathing, though. That's kind of too extreme. So hopefully that's not too much. We were deployed to Tip Tree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with Ethan. That's good. I can actually read what they're saying. So I won't get confused. And it's good for the Let's Play, obviously, because people can read what... NPCs are saying. I had that off for the first two hours of this let's play, unfortunately. Ah, Dr. Shakwaz. She was on Mass Effect 1 and 2, the Doctor. Excellent. Shepherd, she actually died are. in my Mass Effect 2. <laughs> You're here? I'm working at an Alliance RD lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst. Ashley? Of How's she doing? Saint Angela? What am I on? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Yeah, where have you been? Why are you not on our ship? What have you been up to? It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. They impounded it? I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. Hmm. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. You belong in the Normandy? Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doc. Oh, yes. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Awesome. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering <laughs> his medication. I love that attention to detail in the characters. It's so awesome. Like, seeing characters from previous games. And them, all, they all have, like, a really three-dimensional layer to them, they all have a really uh, deep relationship with each other, like, so it's, it uh, really makes it stand out, you know, so it's awesome. And it makes it memorable and makes a connection with the player. Love that view. The Presidium, I don't think we can go down there in Mass Effect 1, you could go down there. Mass Effect 2, you could only go out, like, on the balcony of the human embers. Hem Ugh. Human Embassy. Whoa. Still got that. That used to happen in Mass Effect 2. You walk towards things and float in the air. Yep. They've got some bugs. Look at that. Okay, that's, that's kind of a major bug. That actually happened also in Mass Effect 2. I've already said that, didn't I? Could get annoying. Like, I could get stuck up on a cliff and I couldn't get down. 
Now enough of that. What do we have to do now? We have to go to the Citadel Embassy, did it say? Council must be informed of the Reaper threat and the Prothean device that may be able to stop the Reapers. Go to Councillor Udina's office on the Citadel and convince the Council to send help for the fight against the Reapers. Hope we get our Prothean companion soon. Companion. Okay, so we got Citrus Supplies. What have we got here? Flowers? A large and fragrant bouquet of flowers. Grown in the Citadel's hypo hydroponic gardens. What's hydroponic? Okay. Candy assortment. A deluxe selection of chocolates, hand candies, and caramels. Stop talking over me. Warning, these sweets are suitable only for level amino acid-based li acid life forms. Stop interrupting me. So this obviously wouldn't be suitable for Tally. <laughs> Give those to Tally and she'll die. If she's in this game, I'm not sure. Rumi has remembrance. The works of Rumi, a 13th century earth poet, have been continuously imprinted since the 20th century. Oh my god, stop talking. Right. I will just purchase the Medigel. How much money do we have? 35,000 credits we have. Get these flowers just in case we need them. Why does that voiceover keep going? I don't want to hear that. Can I have the option to turn that off? Candy assortment. This might be for like... Yeah, shush. This might be for like dating or getting your relationship up. With the females, obviously. And poetry books. Only a thousand credits each, so we've got 2,900 or 29,000. Stop confusing me with that voiceover. My god, that's annoying. Right, that's done. Medi gel capacity. I didn't talk to the doctor. Dr. Michael. Hello, Dr. Michael. Commander Shepard. I'm Ed Physician, Dr. Clo Michel. Ed Physician? She's French. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? Yes, yes. Is she okay? How's Ashley doing? The Ed drama was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just on the hall. I already went and saw her, but... What can you tell me about the clinic stuff? With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Um, what about these refugees? This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. Hospital. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. Hmm, supplies? What are these you talk about? How are your medical supplies holding up? Oh, yeah, the medical supplies. We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. So nothing I can do to get supplies? No. Guess not. Okay. Keep up the good work, Doctor. Goodbye. You too, Commander. Plus two reputation. Hope that wasn't me missing out on some renegade options, because I do want to maximize my renegade options so wherever possible I have to answer with dickish answers even if it's against what I would want to do because I want to get my renegade maxed because I do like being a renegade it makes sense to stick with either one paragon or a renegade at least if yes yes at least if uh Mass Effect 2 was anything to go by, where you had the Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the one moment. Citadel embassies, let's go. So I have to talk to who do we have to talk to here? Council yes the council, okay. Of course. Oh I love these little guys. Hee <laughs> hee. They have that breather thing. Funny. They're not going to talk to me. Oh. Tell the primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to the assist Vol? with the Alliance project. 
we had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrine wow. Abyssal. Wow. This is good. Nevertheless, we are committed to helping both the Turian Empire and the Human Alliance. You actually get journal updates from listening in on conversations. That's good. Is that Garrus? Garrus, come back. Hopefully we get Garrus back. Right, so... Let's have a good look around first. What's this? Another food machine we can't use? Oh. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission. And huh, Alzheimer's. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only he hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. I don't think you can get side quests from these. You get journal updates. I don't know what that exactly means, but. You already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so. Wasting time here. It's not like him to go quiet. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know. Can I talk to these people? Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me. Nope, okay. No side quest there. Sounded like a side quest. Can't interact with those people. Sprint up to the council. What's this? Commander Bailey? Did we talk to this dude? There is no nope. anti humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going reporter. to know that CSEC and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> can't sleep there till you die. Get out of here. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Go away. <laughs> Door. Damn press. Leave. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. He looks younger than he did in Mass Effect 2, which is kind of weird. I thought he was older, dude, but he's like, looks like 40 here or something, or, yeah, about 40. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm, a, I'm not a political creature. Bear with it. Which one would be Renegade? It's a stupid game. Yeah. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Hmm. Plus two renegade. Yes, it was good. Uh, let's speak to him again. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Let's see. Um. Tell me about the war. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Yeah. Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. True that. And what's happening on the Citadel? Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Are they actually doing anything apart from talking, though? That's where I come in, I guess. I'm the action man. Yeah. Trouble? Thought things were relatively quiet here. Yeah, it seems that way. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. 
<laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. So what else can you tell me about your promotion? It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Udina? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Hmm. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. Uh, tell me about your family. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. Oh dear. They're still on Earth. Still on Earth? That's not good. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. Yeah, no time for talk then. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Although we did have... Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. Good talking to you, Commander Billy. We did have time to talk for a while there. I think if you talk to him again, he can get renegade. Commander Shepard. Hope the Citadel's been treating you well. I'm still just trying to keep things in order. Feels like I'm fighting a losing battle. No, okay. Yep. 